oldest black musician I worked with was a man named Willie Malloy. Willie was born in 1900, and he, uh, he died around 1994, finally. I kept going by his house, and one day, finally, it was boarded up, and I knew I missed him. But I met him in 1988, when he was 88 years old, and he had run away from home with a blues band in 1915. Think about it. He was 15 years old. When I met Willie, he was kind of a mess. His face was had been damaged by a fire. And I said, Willie, what happened to you? And he said, well, I went off into the world when I was 15, ran away from home with a blues band, left my mom and my daddy and my family. And two years on the road, in 1917, I was in Charleston, West Virginia. And I played music Friday night and slept under a table in the joint. And Saturday morning, I got up about 10 o'clock or so. The lights started to come in through the windows. He crawled out under the table he slept in. He had a, his guitar on a rope around his neck, and he walked out and blinked in the sunshine, and a church lady accosted him and said, Willie, you the one making that racket last night? He said, yes, ma'am. Going to do it again tonight, too. She said, if you can play for the devil, you can play for the Lord. You come to my church tomorrow. He says, I'm going to be up most of the night. She said, stay up. And you bring that box with you. We don't hear no blues, though. And he's all trying to get out of this. Well, maybe I will. Which church is yours? And Willie could tell me the street corner he was at. And walk you. 71 years later, he could tell me where he was. Two steps out of the street, third steeple down, 10 o'clock, don't be late. Well, Willie did stay up most of the night. And he thought, well, I'll, maybe I'll go down there and make a little money when they pass the plate. You know, I'll play a gospel tune and they'll still pass the plate. I'll get a little money out of it. That'd be good. So he walks into the church and he sings a song I'm about to sing for you, his mother's favorite gospel tune. It made him homesick and he quit the band and started home. Ran out of money in Norfolk, Virginia and took a job in a reconditioned furniture store. Taking old furniture and knocking the joints apart, they re-glue them, make them nice again, put a fresh coat of paint on them, sell them. Willie's job was to put the piece in the window and take the money. He said, I heard the explosion. And the six guys in the back room died right then. He said, snapped my head around. I could see the fireball coming at me. And I turned to run for the door, but it caught up with me. And this is what he did. He said, it burned off my nose and my eyelids and the tops of my ears. And it blew me into the street. And uh, I wouldn't be here talking to you. Somebody grabbed me by my clothes and pulled me out from that storefront. And uh, I've never been able to thank that man. I don't know who he was. He said, I lay in the hospital for six weeks, and a social worker came by and said, where are your people? And he said, Fayetteville, North Carolina. He said, well, you don't want to go blind in a town where nobody knows you, nobody cares about you. You need to go home. So they gave him bus fare, and he got on a bus. It took him three days to find his family. They would moved a lot in Fayetteville. And he finally opened and knocked on a door, and his mother opened it. And uh, he was so glad to see her. But she was horrified at the face before her. And it said, Mama? They fell on each other's neck. Her beautiful boy came home wrecked, you know, and she put him in bed. He couldn't close his eyes. When I met Willie, he hadn't closed his eyes in 71 years, and his cornea was dried out, and he went blind. His mother was the last face he saw. He woke up the next morning stone blind. But when Willie played guitar at the age of 88 with me in 89 and 90, he hit the guitar as hard as any 15-year-old, and he sang with as much joy and love in his heart as any man I ever knew. And uh, when he sang this song, you believed every single word.
I will trust in the Lord. I will trust.